Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Team Olympus YouTube channel. If this is your first time to the channel and don't know what we're about, check out this intro up here to learn more about us. Well, I'm always excited to post a video. Unfortunately, I gotta start this one with some bad news. We just found out today, SEMA has been canceled. So, no SEMA 2020. What does this mean for us? Well, honestly, my life's gonna get a little easier for a few months. <laughs> uh, but no, we're, we're really disappointed. Uh, SEMA's been a big part of the fall schedule for what we do, and uh, we've been, we were really excited about the build we had this year. Uh, we were gonna have Medusa, the Ultra 4, and then of course we were gonna have that guy up there. If you haven't seen it, the Avet. It's a uh, Audi R8 body from the movie Fast and Furious. It's going on a Corvette. It's being made into a drag car. It was gonna be a great opportunity. So anyways, enough of that. Let's get on to some good news. Today we're talking water pumps. For those that don't know, this is Medusa. This is our Ultra 4 we built from the ground up. Whole video series on it. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And we're making some changes. We wanted to go to an electric water pump. So we called up Holly and we picked up one of their Frostbite pumps. It's a great unit. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. And nothing against Holly, it's perfect. It's not their fault. Because of our supercharger belt routing, the belt hits the actual motor. So not gonna work. Uh, so we decided let's go remote mount. So we're using this. This is a Philadelphia Racing Products 50 gallon per minute remote water pump. It's got a fitting there fitting there and it pumps at 50 gallons per minute. So this thing's going to be moving a, uh, a healthy amount of fluid. So this mounts wherever we want it to mount. And then on the engine, we have these plates that bolt in place of the water pump and we hook up AN fittings to this. Now, this is a dash 12, which was kind of small. Uh, so the first thing I did is I went and picked up a bunch of dash 12 O-ring bias to dash 16. So that is going to go on there. We already figured that one out. Um, and now what I gotta figure out is how I'm going to connect the whole engine parts together and get it fitted up. So there's a little bit of stuff to figure out. I'm also going to bore this out a little bit because if you look in there, you can see that it's one inch through there but it stops for whatever reason, but we wanna make sure we have max flow. So we'll bore each and every one of those fittings out for maximum flow. Um, I'm going to get one of our engines set up that's on an engine stand so I can work with that and then I'll probably set up the welding table or something here and then I'll kind of just show you what I'm doing as we go and how it's all going to work. The way that this is designed is these two connect together and these two connect together. How they do that is completely up to the user. Uh, they are, well, I mean, it's, there's a number of ways to do it. I saw online a really cool way that I like. I'll put a picture here. The only problem with that one is it's over $400. So $800 for both vehicles for a manifold to connect. The coolant lines is a bit expensive. So I figured, why not make my own? The first part of this that's a little bit of a challenge is how to connect these. Uh, so I talked to my local hydraulic shop and they had these fittings here. They've got this steel collar on the inside and it's a female adapter. So this is designed to just thread on right there. This does not require anything as that collar has the necessary th uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, uh, bevel, I'm sorry. It has the necessary bevel to seal the dash 16 because these are all dash 16s. And when that's installed, now we simply need a way to connect these two together. So I figured based on how they did it, they used the tube. So I cut a piece of tube and now I'm gonna figure out how I can connect this all together. I thought about doing some uh, 90s, but Finding the right 90s was hard, and ultimately, 
I just couldn't bring myself to use like a pipe 90. That just, that, that just seems a little bit. So I'm gonna drill some holes in this tube, notch it, and then I'm going to TIG weld this tube to these fittings. Because this is steel, I just have to clean that zinc finish off a little bit, and I can TIG weld that right on. This is one inch tube, so it'll provide more than enough flow. So now it's just a matter of connecting it and capping it. And then it's a matter of figuring out where I'm gonna go from there to connect it to my AN fitting on my radiator hose. Right here in my car, I have one fit hose there, and the other hose is next to it that normally went down to the thermostat. But based on how this is set up, I'm probably gonna figure out how to put them both right here. We got one hole. Believe it or not, that was a little more difficult than you would have thought, but it actually sits in there pretty good. It's like a test piece here. And it has a nice fit there. So that would be perfect to weld that up. Now I just gotta figure out how to get it lined up for the second one. Okay, got our second hole drilled and I think our fit's pretty good. It is definitely snug, that is for sure. So there we go. It's not bad. Um, let me go ahead and wire wheel these, tack them up. And then, honestly, the only challenge I really see, I think, hmm. I think that may have to sit off further than I wanted, but we'll figure it out. I made a mistake. Um, okay, when I was putting this together, I neglected to think about the fact that I have no room to get in there and weld. So I can't get in there no matter what I do. And it's just welding like poop because I'm trying to, it's just not, yeah, so scrap that. Uh, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to redo it, but this time around, I'm going to make a standoff. So I'll weld that to that, and then I will give this probably an inch or so. So then when I come in and put my tube on there, I will have room to be able to weld it properly. Round two. I was just checking in my tubes, and I found that I've got this, uh, it's like a 80 wall, but it slips perfect into the collar. So now it'll slip inside there, allowing for a very good weld. Perfect. Why plan C, you ask? Well, I went to plan B and it was horrible. I tacked this other side up with it tight on here so I know that it didn't pull. And it definitely goes on. And there we have it. This is the top one. And yes, we basically made a bath rail. So, now we gotta make another one. Uh, when I was test fitting, I, I went over and measured a few things. I realized that I need to be conscious about where the belt comes off the pulley to the alternator. 
and I measured it out and yeah I couldn't go much I, I couldn't go out further than about what we're at now so that's why I decided to go ahead and do some 90s and miter cuts and pie cut it in so that's all solid welded and this thing's done the only thing left now is I've got to take this fitting cut it in half and then mount the AN right there because that's where eh, we might mount this side I don't know we'll see maybe off to the side a little bit and then we can mount the other one in front I don't know uh, but this is where the line to the radiator will go so I'm gonna get rocking on this bottom one and I will show you once that's complete and what we're gonna do with this. Let's test fit and see uh -oh, how we did. So, you're probably wondering what the heck did I just make? Man, I keep bumping the camera, sorry. Um, <laughs> well, at this point, the engine's completely sealed, so there's no fluid pumping. It would just sit here. So, what we gotta do, the last piece of this puzzle, is we have to somehow put this guy right here and somehow put one of these up front. So we got two of them. So we're gonna make a port somewhere. So I am gonna do some thinking and uh, let's hope something works. It just started raining. Well, the top one is finished. Um, got all our ports, went through, cleaned everything, drilled that out, and uh, I'm very happy with it. Well, here's the two pieces that we fabricated. Craziness. So the bottom has to go on first, respectively. And let's test fit. Make sure everything is still happy. And fast.
Well, there it is. Um, both of them will connect up here. That eliminates our problem of on the supercharger belt where the thermostat housing was. We actually had to take the hose off to get the belt off. It was quite obnoxious. Um, but now all the hoses will be up here clean underneath the intake. The intake we're using, we run all the hoses underneath, so we'll shorten those lines up. And then uh, in the second part of this video, part two, uh, we'll get the water pump and everything mounted up. But I think, I don't know, I think I might go test fit these in the car. I still got to drill those holes bigger. They're a little small, but we'll bore those out to one inch. But I think we'll do a quick test fit in here and see what we got. Well, that's awesome. It doesn't fit. The uh, supercharger bracket's kind of in the way, but I, I don't think it's a problem. I think it's just a matter of it. you can't pop it in place, but it sits behind the bracket. But I'll, uh, I'll play with that. Uh, so like I said, this will be kind of a two-part video. Um, we'll put the water pump in, the rest of the plumbing, and figure all that out in the second half of this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end the video off here. The uh, Civic winner, he never contacted us, John Clary. And also, if your name's on this list and we haven't talked to you, make sure you contact us. You won something. These five won soap, these six won shirts, and he won the car. Since John never contacted us and we've tried to reach out, uh, we're going to draw a new name. I got to check with Joe and check the date at which we'll draw, but... I'll say that we'll do a drawing a week from Thursday on our live video. Joe's gone this week, so I'd like for him to be here. So let's say a week from Thursday, which would be like the 15th or something. I don't know. I'll put the date in here, whatever. Um, but on there, on that live video, we're going to draw a new name to win the Civic. So make sure you get over on the live video. But anyways, it's 2 a.m. It's really late. Finally stopped raining, so I... Got to get cleaned up. I'm really filthy. I'm happy with the progress, but I'm going to stop talking now. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of this. Um, I'm going to get out of here. Fist bump for you guys.